So topic for today is diamond cubic crystal structure. In diamond cubic crystal structure, two face centered cubic bravi lattice of which one is pushed along the body diagonal by one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. So then we get a new structure that is diamond cubic crystal structure. So in diamond cubic crystal structure, we use or there are two interpenetrating face centered cubic bravi lattices. One face centered cubic bravi lattice is pushed along the bo main body diagonal by one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. So in the case of diamond cubic crystal structure, there are two sets of lattice positions. So these two sets of lattice positions associated with two different face centered cubic bravi lattices are chemically identical, but not equivalent. That is what we have seen. Chemically identical means all these lattice positions are attached with same atom. In diamond, all are carbon atom. If it is silicon crystal, all are silicon atom or germanium atom. So, this lattice positions are chemically identical, but they are not equivalent. They are not equivalent in the sense we cannot move from one lattice position to another lattice position by giving this lattice translation operation. Therefore, they are considered as two independent separate lattice positions. That is how we get diamond cubic crystal structure. Diamond cubic crystal structure is having a cubic unit cell. So, unit cell is purely a cube. Diamond cubic unit cell is having eight corner atoms, then six face centered atoms and four atoms within the cube from the second face centered cubic lattice. So, altogether you have 8 into 1 by 8 because only one eighth contribution. Here 6 into 1 by 2 only half because it is shared between 2 plus additional 4. So, total we will be having 1 plus 3 plus 4. So, total 8 atoms per unit cell. So, diamond cubic unit cell is a cubic unit cell which is having 8 atoms per unit cell. So, in order to visualize this is the isometric view of diamond cubic unit cell, but we want to attach this. This is not a possible lattice position as far as this face centered cube is concerned. Therefore, these atom positions or these atoms are to be attached to these lattice. Then only we can say that there are or each lattice is having two atom bases or motif. So, in order to attach this, we will take a two dimensional projection of this cube. So, this represents the two dimensional projection of this particular figure. This is isometric view, this is two dimensional projection. So, both are identical. So, with the help of this, we will be able to explain how we can realize these two atom bases. This is a basis, that is there are two atoms. So, this is not having, otherwise the, it is not allowed to be there because no such lattice positions are there as far as this face centered cube is concerned. Though this particular atom is attached to A and it is part of this A lattice site. So, if we take this one, if this is 0, 0, 0, this will be 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. So, I can mark it as this lattice or basis consists of two atoms which are in the position difference is 0, 0, 0 and 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. Now, let us see these two. If you take these two, this one is at the vertical plane half unit above. This one is vertical distance 3 by 4 above. Therefore, if I call this one as 0, 0, 0, this one will be having again same x unit from here 1 fourth distance, from here 1 fourth distance because this is half unit. So, this is 1 fourth, this is 1 fourth and this is 3 fourth above, this is half unit above. So, the difference is 1 fourth. Therefore, this will also be 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth if I call this as 0. Then combine these two again this is one and the same. Therefore, this is another another basis, basis consists of two atoms. Similarly, if I collect, connect these two, this is on the face center on the bottom face ABCD. 
So this if I call 0, 0, 0, this will be again 1 fourth, 1 fourth and 1 fourth above. So that this is also 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4. So these together, this will also form a basis. Same way we can visualize this one. This one is half. So if I call this as 0, 0, 0, this will be 1 fourth, 1 fourth, and this is 3 fourth above means with respect to this, this is only 1 fourth above. So this is 1 fourth, 1 fourth, 1 fourth. So combined, this will form another basis. So these are all bases which, are, which consist of two atoms. So two atom bases which are attached to this lattice point. This one is attached to this lattice point. This one is attached to this lattice point. This one is attached to this lattice point. Similarly, if you take this one, there will be another atom here. So you will be having a basis. There will be another atom here. So you will be having a basis. So you will be having many basis atoms. All basis atoms will be having or basis consists of two atoms each. So like that diamond cubic crystal structure will be formed. So basically diamond cubic crystal is formed with phase centered cubic bravi lattice. But when we speak about phase centered, phase centered cubic crystal is also there, cubic structure. So in phase centered cubic crystal structure, we have got phase centered bravi lattice plus basis consists of one atom each. But in diamond cubic crystal structure, we have got phase centered cubic bravi lattice plus basis consists of two atom each. In phase centered cubic structure, crystal structure, the atomic packing factor which we have calculated earlier, it was 74 percentage. FCC crystal structure, atomic packing factor is number of atoms per unit cell is 4 into 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by a cube. So where we will be using the previous relation that is in FCC 2r is equal to a by root 2, 2r is equal to a by root 2. Therefore a is equal to 2 root 2 r. So 2r is equal to a by root 2 which we have seen and therefore a is equal to 2 root 2 r. Therefore, this will be 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 into 2 root 2 into r cube. So, when you solve this, you will be getting this is equal to 0 0.74. It is very tightly packed system and we call it cubic close packed crystal structure. Whereas in diamond cubic crystal structure, if we calculate this atomic packing factor, it will be only 34 percentage. We will see later. So that means diamond cubic crystal structure is a loosely packed system, whereas phase centered cubic crystal structure is a closely packed cubic system, closely packed crystal structure. So I repeat, so there is nothing like diamond cubic lattice. It is diamond cubic crystal structure. Diamond cubic crystal structure use phase centered cubic lattice. So in this diamond cubic crystal structure, each atom, for example, let us take carbon. So each carbon atom is sp3 hybridized and each carbon atom is attached to four other nearby carbon atoms and they form or they are tetrahedrally attached, connected. So that they, these each carbon atom around first carbon atom will be at the vertices of a regular tetrahedron and the center one is the centroid of tetrahedron. Carbon, 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 carbon. So these four carbon atoms are attached at the corners of a regular tetrahedron. So this is tetrahedron. So here these black lines represents carbon carbon bond and this red represents the approximate structure of regular uh, tetrahedron. So this center carbon atom that is at the centroid position and these are at the vertices. So if we analyze diamond crystal structure which we have seen earlier, we have a phase centered bravi lattice 
and second Revai lattice is pushed by one fourth so that we have one atom at this one fourth position. This is one diagonal. At this one fourth position, we have an atom coming from the second uh, face centered cubic Revai lattice, and we have one atom here, one atom we have here, one face center atom here, and uh, this one is push for uh, moving forward so that this atom will be close to back face centered cubic atom face center so this one face center back there is one so these four atoms together it will make a regular tetrahedron so i'm just connecting it so this is one this is one this is one this is one and we will be having a regular tetrahedron so this is again this one in order to understand we can project this. This particular tetrahedron is in the back part of the cube because this is a face center and this is a back bottom corner. This is back face center. This is left side corner, well, left face center. So this particular tetrahedron is going towards the back side. So we will project this on a two dimensional plane. If we project this on two dimensional plane, this is our plane, there is A, B, C, D. So this bottom plane, we will project it. That is, we will be having A, B, C, D. So this particular tetrahedron within this cube, if we project on this base plane A, B, C, D, it will be like this. That is, we have one corner atom A, then this one is on A, D, then this back face, face center atom that is on A, B, and this is the face center atom that is here. And this is one fourth above, that is here. So this is one by four above, this is half unit above, this is half unit above. So this particular regular tetrahedron is coming or look like a small square in one quadrant. So what about the other three quadrants? These other three quadrants also, we will have this type of figure. Here we have one fourth atom on one body diagonal. C we have got another or C2, C, C small c we had another one fourth atom. Then another uh, that other two body diagonals we have atom position at three fourth. So only thing is these particular regular tetrahedron which we are getting they will be at a different height. So here one, here one, here one like that here one. So we will have four regular tetrahedron which will be seen within. These four regular tetrahedron, one will be having centroid at one fourth. The next one will be having centroid at three fourth. The next one will be having centroid at one fourth, then again at three fourth. So because these atom positions are at cyclically on the diagonal at distance one fourth, three fourth, one fourth and three fourth from the corner position. Therefore, we will have four different tetrahedron inside. So here also we will have so here we will have atom, here we will have atom, this will be at 3 fourth above. Then here also we will have this will be at 1 fourth above. And here we will have 2 and this will be above 3 fourth above. So we will have one atom here. So we will be having four regular tetrahedron. So this particular cube, if we divide into, or if we cut along this halfway, all the three planes, suppose we are cutting, then totally we will have eight cubes. We will see. So suppose we are cutting this cube along xy plane, xz plane and yz plane. So one I will cut like this.
then one I'll cut like this. Then one I'll cut like this. So we'll have one line here. So this line we'll be having here. Okay. So when we cut like this into cubes, so we'll be having this also one line. So this line we'll be having here. And also we'll have this line we'll cut here. So there are, if we carefully analyze, there are 8 cubes. This big cube is divided into 8 small cubes inside. Out of these 8 small cubes within, only 4 cubes will be occupied by this tetrahedron. That is, within the cube we have 1 fourth, 3 fourth, 1 fourth, 3 fourth. That is, there are 4 regular tetrahedron at 4 different uh, uh, cubes and other 4 cubes will be empty or there will be space in between there that is called interstitial space. So this interstitial space also play a greater role in the properties, doping, etc. So if we work out the first one is at A, so here is our point A, B, C, D. So near A we will have one cube. So this is first cube is or first regular tetrahedron is in the back cube here. So if I mark, I'll just take it like this. So this particular cube. So this cube with this side. So one bottom side is this one and left side is this one within that. So if I continue like that, we will be able to continue like this. So this point. So that cube is having one tetrahedron. Second one is at 3 fourth. So from here, the next one when we go, we will be having again a cube. So this one behind, so this one will be in front. So here we will be having a cube. I just mark in red. So this will be having a regular tetrahedron. So this is the front part. This is the back part. Similarly, here also one cube will be there, front part. And here again, there will be one that is back part, back side region, there will be one cube. So we will have here, this cube is empty, this point, this cube is empty, here front side cube is empty, here also front side cube is empty. So we will have, out of these 8 cubes within, 4 cubes will have a regular tetrahedron and 4 will be empty. So this is how the diamond cubic crystal structure is uh, coordinated. So there will be tetrahedral coordination and uh, these carbon atoms are or these identical atoms are tightly packed in the form of regular tetrahedron with these atom coming from the second phase centered cubic lattice will be the centroid of each of these regular tetrahedron. Now we have to see atomic packing factor. So atomic packing factor is what volume of the cube is occupied by these atoms. So we have seen the number of atoms per unit cell is number of atoms per unit cell is, is 8. 8 atoms along the corners, 6 atoms on 6 faces and 4 atoms within. Altogether we will have 8 atoms per unit cell. So our requirement is we want to find the atomic packing factor. By definition, atomic packing factor is number of atoms per unit cell into volume of the unit cell that is 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by volume of the unit cell that is a cube. So we want this radius of the atom, 4 by 3 pi r cube. So here one atom is at, we have seen, So when we take this cube, so 
one atom is at 0, 0, 0 position and one atom inside that is centroid of the tetrahedron that is at one fourth position. So, 0, 0, 0 position and uh, one fourth, one fourth position. So, uh, if you want to find this distance 0 to one fourth, we can either work out geometrically, otherwise vectorially if you work out the distance between the two is that is center to center that will be square root of 1 by 4 minus 0 the whole square plus 1 by 4 minus 0 the whole square plus 1 by 4 minus 0 the whole square. That will be equal to root 3 by 4 assuming this is a unit cube. If it is if the cube edge is a this is root 3 by 4 a. So, root 3 by 4 a is nothing but the distance from the center to the center 0 0 position atom and 1 fourth position atom these atoms are all joined together tightly packed. Therefore, these atoms are in contact. Therefore, this distance is nothing but twice the radius. Therefore, the radius is equal to radius of the atom is equal to root 3 by 8 a this divided by 2. So, radius is root 3 by 8 a that you can substitute n is 8 into 4 by 3 pi into root 3 by 8 a into root 3 by 8 a into root 3 by 8 a divided by a cube. So, this a cube and a cube cancel 8 8 cancel this 4 and 8 2 then this 3 and these 2 3 cancel. So, when you work out you will be getting atomic packing factor is equal to APF is equal to pi into 1 root 3 is there divided by 8 into 2 that is 16. If you solve this you will be getting answer 0 0.34 that is 34 percentage. So, atomic packing factor in diamond cubic crystal structure is 34 percentage. So, we have seen diamond cubic crystal structure, it used phase centered cubic bravi lattice with two atom bases or two interpenetrating phase centered cubic bravi lattice. Then, its, or its unit cell is, is a cubic unit cell which is having eight corner atoms, six phase centered atom and uh, four atoms within which is coming from second phase centered cubic bravi lattice. So, altogether eight atoms per unit cell and inside this uh, diamond cubic crystal structure atoms are tetrahedrally coordinated and its atomic packing factor is 34 percentage. This diamond cubic crystal structure is a very important uh, crystal structure, uh, it is a very good having a good foundation in this is will be useful for understanding the other many other crystal structures as well particularly singlet crystal structure is an extension of this diamond cubic crystal structure. So, we will see singlet crystal structure and a few more crystal structures in the fourth lecture. Thank you.